You've um, also been a part of the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2009, which also yeah. gave you an opportunity to play alongside another great player, which is LeBron James. Um, what was what was your how how would you describe you know um, the difference between them? Not just in terms of playing style, because we're pretty much aware that they were two different players, but how they approach the team, their teammates, practice. What kind? What you know? What, what was? What was? What, what do you think were the similarities and the differences between them? Um, so I mean, there were at such different points in their career. It's, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a. Everyone always wants to know in um, that question, uh, but they were at such different points. You know, LeBron was such a young star at that point. He was just making his way. Obviously, he, he had already proven himself. I think he went to the finals and lost to San Antonio earlier in his career and he had taken a couple teams on his back and um but he he still was he was still seeking that um that that the championship he was still seeking that attention to be the best in the world and and you know he had the work ethic which was was very similar to Kobe's and that he was in the he was in the weight room every morning getting mm -hmm. his work in and put he loved playing the game um, but when I got with Kobe, he, he had already kind of won a couple championships and he had already, he was already on that. Um, he'd really established his professional habits in terms of what, how he works, when he works and, you know, figuring out, learning from coach Jackson and some of those veterans of, of, you got to take some time off some, from time to time. And, uh, you know, during the season, there's different, um, you know, Coach Jackson always said there's three different acts this season, you know, first act, second act, and third act. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's kind of a build up in the middle section. So it was just a very different time in their careers. But um, I'd never seen, when I played with LeBron, I'd never seen anyone affect the game in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, he could physically dominate on the defensive end, block a shot, get the rebound, going down a transition, then dunk on you and just change the whole game. Whereas Kobe did it in more of a mental, psychological way. Uh, you know, he he was obviously lethal in so many different ways, especially once that you got into the half court at the end of the games. You know, he was meticulous with with his execution there, but he didn't have the same physicality that that LeBron had uh, and 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 youth like LeBron was so energetic at that point. He, he would do things that were, you know, he still doesn't today. But it, at that point, it was just that's who he was and so youthful. Um, so it was, it was very different. It was almost like seeing, it was, it was like seeing a young savant and now you see LeBron and how meticulous he was and, or is, and he's learned so many of these tricks. It's just, you know, as, as you know, as a basketball player, you know, playing against a, a high school kid, even if they're, you know, more talented and more energetic, you know, once you learn the tricks, it, it, all that stuff goes away. And, um, and that's the fun part of being around coaching for so long is I, I've kind of had an inside view on that. And, and I, I, I got to know some of those secrets and, uh, and learn them before a lot of people did. Mm -hmm.